I'm gonna make a rack of lamb encrusted with uh, panko breadcrumbs, basil, cheese, garlic, and when you buy a rack of lamb, don't buy in stores like Trader Joe's that come in frozen because they come in, I think, from New Zealand or Australia. They don't feed the animals like we do here. So get the uh, homegrown lamb. The quality is much better. First thing I'm going to do is just season this with salt and pepper. And I'm using a nice uh, salt made from uh, sea salt. And you could tell it's pretty good because it's not pure white. It's like an off-white, like almost a yellowish. And I have the pepper in here, and I always have this ready to season anything. And this is going to go into the oven first. And we're going to cook it about 70% of the way. Now the timing on this and the temperature is just going to be for this weight of a piece of lamb because every piece is a different weight so it'll change a little bit. This will give you an idea. And after it's roasted we're going to take it out and remove all of the fat because what do you want to eat? You really don't want to eat the fat. It's going to be encrusted very nicely. The fat is removed and that's the way it should be done. Not leaving the fat on there and then coating it. So let me get started. I have the oven already on at 400 degrees and then I'll, all the information will be in this description of how long the temperature and everything. Now to smear over the lamb when it comes out of the oven, you don't want to have too much, of, you don't want to have much of this left over at all really and you want to have the right amount of each of the ingredients since we love garlic, there's the garlic, there's the cheese. And you look at the lamb and you go, if I spread that out, it looks like it might make it. Then the panko breadcrumbs and the finely minced fresh basil. Don't use dry. And you don't have to measure the, uh, the mustard because you're going to take a brush and just brush that on. So now we have to wait, I have to put the lamb in the oven and then just wait. I set the oven at 400 but you know it's just 375 that's how convection ovens work so don't worry if it says 375 but if you have a regular oven non-convection you set it at 400. After 25 minutes remove the lamb. Now you see how soft that is, that's very rare. Notice, that's perfect. Now in about 10 minutes, I'm going to remove this fat, encrust it, and go back into the oven. So, it, you have to get the feel of this. I never time this lamb at work, ever. Uh, it's just, uh, not necessary for me to time it. I just know. You look at the lamb. Anyway, so it's nice that I timed it this time. And we'll finish the video shortly. Now we have to remove the fat. You see the fat's up here. Just get your fingers under it like so. Pull it down. Get your knife right in there. And just run it along the edge of the bone. Now there's no reason why anybody would leave this on the, uh, the lamb. Alright, the next step, if you notice, see how nice and rare it is there? Now we're going to get everything that we have over here. We're going to mix this together right on the board and take a close look at it to make sure it's enough. 
and looking at what's here it seems to be pretty good so we got the panko the basil and we're going to spritz a little olive oil in there it'll help the color make this a little stickier like so that's enough and now we have to mix this together so I'm going to mix this shut off the camera no sense in wasting time just mixing it now that that's all mixed up well we'll take the uh, mustard and just holding the lamb take the mustard with a brush coat it well because this is going to help everything stick to the lamb and also help in the flavor and you don't wait once you do this because that'll dry and nothing will stick so now we just take the lamb and roll it in every little piece that has mustard has to be coated now you notice there is leftover so we're going to put some of this on there and this is for two people each person gets two double chops don't think it's for any more because it's not now we'll put it in the pan and we shall put it into the oven well that lamb looks pretty and you have a little firmness that's what you want firm but not hard there's a little give there so we're ready we're going to let this rest for a good five minutes because you do that with all beef and lamb and then we're going to cut it each person will get two double lamb chops if you notice one end is always larger than the other so you don't give one person these four right here you take the two end here and give them the two over here and the end here which is smaller give it the two larger ones over there you'll see now we're going to cut it and set up the dinner plate you just go right down between the bones like so. Look at that beautiful rare meat. Now, if you notice, this one's larger than this one. And this one is larger than that one. So you know what? We'll leave it like this. Now you take the bones and you put them together like so. Cross them. You take the lamb. A sauce is not needed with this, even though a lot of places serve the sauce, because it's juicy and the crust, and there you go. Beautiful, rare rack of lamb. I hope you enjoy.